What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Off the Wall. My name is Bugs. Today, I'm going to react to the Ahsoka final trailer. The things I'm hearing are unbelievable. I'm super excited. Let's see what's going down. The Empire may have fallen. Come on, Thrawn. But my ambitions never wavered. I am Grand Admiral Thrawn, and my return is inevitable. Dialogue. I started hearing whispers about Thrawn's return as heir to the Empire. If we don't stop Thrawn, everything will be in vain. We are no Jedi. Anakin. Anakin. As a Jedi, sometimes you have to make the decision no one else can. This is concentrate. Epic. Take in all that is around you. Let's go again. Win. Okay. Our enemies are multiplying. The galaxy is not mm. safe. I've spent most of my life fighting a war. That's why I'm trying to convince you to help me prevent another one. Anakin spoke highly of you. I'm not here to discuss my past. Anakin. Thrawn's tactics are unlike anything I've faced before. I wish I never left you. She told me something. Ahsoka. What a sweet trailer we've just got there. So obviously so much to break down and look into. Obviously, first of all, got to mention Anakin Skywalker looking absolutely fantastic. We have new dialogue here. Obviously, we did get some in the Obi-Wan series, but I think that was a little bit overshadowed by the overall, unfortunately, poor quality of the series. So I've, I kind of forgot about that stuff, to be honest. But this stuff looks so interesting because we can do flashback stuff of obviously Anakin training a younger Ahsoka. We can do the Force Ghost one, which clearly what they're doing here. Obviously, we saw a quick kind of screen grab almost of uh, Henny Christensen as a Force Ghost. And this could be used, obviously, throughout. Really interesting to see if he addresses himself as Darth Vader, as in if he addresses his past, if he addresses the conflict within him, or does he even potentially remember that stuff. Or what would be really interesting is that if Anakin forgets the time that he was Vader, like as in the point in Revenge of the Sith when he kind of, let's say, kills uh, Mace Windu to up until he kind of kills the Emperor in Return of the Jedi. If that phase was fuzzy, if he remembers that clearly, if he kind of discusses that or, I don't know, tries to justify his actions as Vader in any way, that would be super interesting. Uh, it does sound like he was talking to a younger Ahsoka there saying, I'm your master. We may see reenactments of scenes that we've seen in the Clone Wars or um, that kind of thing. Obviously, Matt Lanter provided the voice of Anakin in the in the series, but um, it's going to be really, really interesting to see. You know, the imagination kind of runs wild with the potential of something like this. Obviously, I, I'm pretty sure we got uh, Bo-Katan there as well. Obviously, Bo-Katan and Ahsoka are friends from the Clone Wars. Uh, just look at Season 7, the last season, which dropped on Disney+. Plus. I was quite surprised Ahsoka didn't come to Bo-Katan's aid. Uh, with the whole Mandalore issue in season three of The Mandalorian. And we've got a host of, you know, Rebels characters being shown there. We did get a behind kind of shot of Ezra. I do want to see the lightsaber that was being shown there. And it's interesting to see the Master and Apprentice theme that's being alluded to in these trailers. Obviously, you've got the whole Anakin Ahsoka thing, but you've also got the Ahsoka and Sabine thing. I don't know if that's um, present day in the story or is that a kind of flashback from over the years maybe um you know the end of rebels the prologue was it did it happen then or did it happen kind of previous to that because obviously she cuts her hair as well is it uh are they training after they, they kind of uh, reunite so it's all a bit up in the air obviously we'll get that story and obviously you know the i'm not going to call them inquisitors but kind of force users being shown with orange lightsabers we need to see more about them obviously thrown can't wait to see more about him is he going to be the big bad of this show or is he just kind of the looming evil and he'll be the big bad of Filoni's movie that's also a bit up in the air but what a really good trailer you know some of the space battles looks fantastic the ghost and chopper and everything so uh, you clearly go to the Thor as well so plenty to go through so happy to look forward to a Star Wars show finally and hopefully Filoni knocks out the park I've got full trust in him but 
if you're new to the channel please like comment and subscribe what do you guys think of the trailer let us know down below in the comments and we'll catch you guys on the next reaction